Okay, today we're going to learn the difference between uh, nuclear fission and uh, nuclear fusion. Um, I will... Uh... Let's cover that up because uh, we'll be doing nuclear fusion um, first, uh, fission, I'm sorry, first. And um, let's start off with um, something called stimulated uh, f nuclear fission uh, right here. So uh, uh, we'll start off with this reaction. Uh, we're going to shoot a neutron into a uranium atom. Uh, this is uranium. There's many isotopes of uranium. Uh, we're going to use the, the uh, uranium with 92 protons, and um, 238 uh, is the number of protons plus neutrons in the nucleus. So we're going to take a neutron and shoot it into this uranium isotope, and uh, this arrow means what you will get, and what you'll get is uh, uh, another uranium isotope. Uh, it will have um, uh, 92 protons still, but it'll have one of the neutrons, namely this one, will be inside the nucleus, and it'll be stuck in there for a little while. Um, also, what you will get in this reaction is an electron will uh, pop out of the uh, pop out of this original uh, uranium atom right here. So a neutron will come in uh, to a uranium uh, isotope. You'll get a new uranium isotope with one more neutron, but an electron will pop out of that uh, uranium isotope. Um, and then this is called the binding energy, which will basically be the energy of this uh, electron uh, that's coming out of um, coming out of the uranium original uranium isotope. So we're going to calculate. Uh, we know the mass uh, the masses of all these uh, 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 particles here. Uh, we're going to figure out what's called the binding energy or the uh, extra energy that the electron will come out of there. Uh, this is called the binding energy over um, 931.5. That just changes the units nice, and we'll see that in just a second. So we'll need to know the neutron in atomic mass units. That's AMUs right here. And the neutron in atomic mass units is uh, this number right here. Uh, the uranium-92-238 uh, 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 atomic mass uh, uh, is uh, uh, is this in uh, AMUs atomic mass units? Um, this uranium isotope uh, with 239 is going to be a little bit bigger, as you can notice. Um, and so this will be the mass of this uh, 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 atom right here. And then we'll need to know the uh, electron uh, mass in atomic mass units, and that will be uh, this. So if we plug this into here, just uh, this number uh, plus this number, plug that into there, uh, plug this into here, and plug this uh, into the electron here, uh, you only have one thing that you don't know, and that's the binding energy or the energy. Um, and if you solve for that algebraically, it's a fairly simple equation to solve, uh, you'll get a binding energy of point, uh, 4.3 uh, mega electron volts. Uh, this is a uh, nuclear physics um, a unit that uh, we like uh, is easy to use uh, here. So um, uh, what this energy will be in is uh, this energy uh, is the energy that the um, the electron here will will be coming out the maximum energy they will have. So it could have less than that energy, but the most that this energy could have is uh, 4.3 uh, mega electron volts. Just to get, compare that to um, uh, to uh, other, we'll have other rea uh, reactions, and we'll compare that with other reactions we have. So this is our first uh, uh, reaction. We call it a stimulated fission because a particle was shot into uh, uh, a uranium atom, and then that caused it to break apart. Um, next, we'll do something called spontaneous fission, and spontaneous fission is when you just have an atom. And it just, it doesn't need a neutron to come into it. Uh, it'll just uh, immediately break up into pieces because it's what's called radioactive. Um, so notice we don't have a neutron uh, plus this. A neutron's not going to come in here. Uh, in fact, if you recognize this, this is the uranium isotope we had uh, over here. So what we're saying is 
uh, when you shoot a neutron into this uranium isotope, you will create a uh, radioactive isotope of uranium, uh, namely this guy. So uh, this, these two will become this, and then, then, then a little while later, this thing will explode on its own. And when that thing right here explodes, which is right here, um, or uh, becomes radioactive, as a, our nuclear physics term for explosion, uh, breaks apart, basically. Uh, uh, when, when this um, uh, uranium isotope uh, breaks up, it breaks up into neptunium and an electron, uh, plus the binding energy of these two uh, particles right here. So again, this is a uranium uh, isotope with 92 protons and uh, 239 um, protons plus neutrons in the nucleus. And it becomes uh, neptunium, uh, which notice has 93 protons. So the proton number inside the nucleus has uh, gained one, uh, and yet the mass has uh, the, the mass has stayed the same uh, for both of these. Uh, so the uranium will break up into neptunium and an electron. And uh, the question is, do you know this, this, and this? And by the way, we get these numbers right here. Uh, for an atomic mass units in a list uh, called uh, uh, atomic masses. Uh, you can find them on Google or uh, physics books, usually even in college physics books at the very end of the book. They'll have a list of uh, atomic uh, isotopes, and they'll, uh, they, you can look these numbers up, or you can just type in neutron atomic mass uh, uh, unit in, on Google, and it should pop that number up. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes writing some of these down. Okay, so here's our equation, and, and sure enough, we do have, um, I did look those up for you, at least uh, we needed just one more, because uh, this uranium uh, isotope, I already told you the mass of that, so we can stick that number in here. Uh, this is the equal sign, uh, this was the equal sign in our equation, so stick uh, this number in here. Uh, for neptunium, uh, I looked that up for you, if you, you can look it up yourself, or type it into Google. Uh, type in neptunium and then uh, atomic mass unit, and you should get this number right here. That's a 5 right there. Um, and you plug that into here. And I already told you the electron uh, uh, mass and atomic mass units, and that's uh, that goes right there. And um, uh, we'll have to calculate the binding energy of uh, uh, these two particles right here. And we notice that the binding energy is... Um, uh, 1.47 uh, MeV uh, right here. Okay. So this is fission here. Two examples. One is stimulated where we we uh, shot a, a neutron into a, a, a nucleus and uh, got a reaction, uh, got something to split apart. Fission is to split apart in nuclear physics. And here we just sat around and watched this uranium atom and notice that it split apart on its uh, on its own, uh, without any uh, inducement or stimulation, uh, right there. Uh, and uh, the binding energy of these two particles is 1.47 uh, MeV again. So, let's take a look at uh, what the difference is between that and um, and fusion over here. Fusion is when. You bring two uh, 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 subatomic sub subatomic particles together. Uh, here we're going to take a hydrogen and uh, uh, fuse it, uh, add it to a neutron, and make uh, one particle called uh, deuterium. And uh, notice hydrogen is one proton, and uh, 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 one is the that's all. There's no neutrons in there, uh, but deuterium has one proton. And it has a, a, an atomic mass of two, which means there's a one proton and one neutron is the reason uh, uh, this is two right here. So um, we will take hydrogen, add it to a neutron, and we get deuterium plus the binding energy of the deuterium uh, right here. Um, so let's try to do that. Do you know the mass, atomic uh, mass unit of... Um, Hydrogen, I looked that up for you, but you can look it up yourself on Google or a, a, a table of isotopes. Um, and I got hydrogen as this uh, atomic mass unit. 
Uh, do you know a Neutron? Yeah, we have Neutron over here. I'll show that, that to you in just a second. I did tell you Neutron. Uh, but I didn't tell you Deuterium, so I had to look that up for you. And here is the Deuterium Atomic Mass Unit. And so if you put Hydrogen in here, and Deuterium in here, and this is an equal sign, um, and then you put, of course, the Nitrogen, with, I'm sorry, the <laughs> not Nitrogen, the Neutron. Uh, if you put the Neutron Mass in here, which I already told you, the Neutron Mass was right here. And you put that in there, put this in here, and put the deuterium in here. You'll only have one unknown, and that's the binding energy. And when we solve for the binding energy of, uh, we call it the binding energy of deuterium, um, we get a binding energy of about 2.2 uh, mega electron volts. Okay? All right. Uh, that's one fusion reaction. Against, again, fusion means that we uh, put things together and they become uh, uh, one thing. Uh, let's try another fusion reaction. Uh, namely, we're going to put a proton together with an electron and form a neutron uh, right here. And so, uh, plus the binding energy of the neutron right here. So, um, uh, we'll need the atomic mass unit of the proton. I have that right there. I looked that up for you, but you can look it up yourself. Uh, we'll need the uh, electron. Uh, I already told you the electron one. It's right there. And we'll need the neutron uh, atomic mass unit, and that's right there. So if we put the proton in here, and then electron uh, number in here, and the neutron number in here, and uh, this, I literally wrote an equal sign. I shouldn't have done that. That's uh, actually... Uh, in physics, uh, see how my algebra skills were coming up. Uh, it's an arrow, but it is an equal sign when we put in our numbers. It's a mathematical equal sign. Uh, and it's a, it's a chemical or a, a nuclear physics uh, symbol that these two things will become uh, these things over here on this side. Um, but anyways, uh, so we plugged in all three of the numbers, the proton, the electron in here, and the neutron in here. Uh, plus the binding energy divided by 931.5. So you'll have to take the proton plus the electron, subtract off the neutron, and then multiply that number by 931.5, and you'll count, and you'll have algebraically solved for the binding energy. And when you solve the binding energy of the neutron here, uh, we'll get a negative 0.78 mega electron volts. Uh, now notice that this one came out to be positive, and this one became out to be negative. Um, this told you the positive tells you that the deuterium uh, is uh, stable. If you look at it for billions of years, it will almost it will never uh, uh, it, it will never um, uh, blow up or uh, splinter off into pieces uh, or fission. It won't it won't uh, go into a fission. Uh, uh, it won't fission. Um, whereas the neutron had a negative uh, 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 binding energy. And that tells us that the neutron is unstable because it's negative. And um, since the neutron is unstable, if we wait about uh, 12 minutes, uh, the neutron will, on average, uh, break up into a proton and an uh, electron and uh, actually another particle, which we nuclear physicists don't worry about that much um, uh, when they do these calculations because it's got a zero mass uh, atomic mass unit, so it doesn't have to be included in the uh, cal uh, uh, calculation of um, of the binding energy. But the other particle that uh, the neutron breaks up into is a proton, an electron, and an anti-electron neutrino. Okay? So, um, so the neutron is unstable because the binding energy is negative, whereas the deuterium was stable and it would not fission uh, because it's, um, its binding energy came out to be positive. So fission is when a particle, whether it's stimulated or not stimulated, uh, or not whether it's stimulated here or not stimulated, breaks up into multiple particles, whereas fusion is when uh, nuclear uh, particles uh, come together to form one uh, uh, particle uh, plus some sort of binding energy. Uh, that is uh, fusion. Uh, two particles or three particles sometimes, if you can get them to, uh, to interact, will become one particle. That is fusion. I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, lecture, and uh, I look forward to any uh, comments you have at the bottom of this, uh, uh, this video. Thank you very much.